been farming in the Riverland in our own right, um, in business with me and my brother, with the Albanese brothers since 1980. Uh, we took over the family property. Working for myself is what I wanted to do. So the day I finished my apprenticeship is the day I went and um, registered to become an electrical contractor. So I started uh, Yates Electrical Services in 2004. Um, started out by myself, just as a, uh, a single operator. We sort of had a, a patch of binds that wasn't performing quite as well as we would have liked, so we thought, shall we uh, remove it and replant it to vines, or shall we try something different? So we decided to put a 186 kilowatt uh, system there. Because a lot of growers sort of sold off their entitlements during the drought, effectively rendering their farming land as useless. Um, so there was a real opportunity to sort of look at ways that we could reactivate that land um, and hence how red mud was, was born. When I first heard the stories and talked to the farmers, um, I got quite emotional just to, that, that we wanted to be part of this, that we wanted to um, go above and beyond. An, an important factor that I've learned uh, with working for ABB is, is to understand the customer's expectations. I was basically a boy. I was started to working for this company back in 1994, and I went to, through a full set of different uh, jobs, starting from R&D, development of power electronics for this company, then to sales and technical sales. So I've seen a lot of things, nice things, working for this company. Some of these farmers have no longer the ability to keep their traditional business of being farmers, so they have to convert to other technologies, they have to convert their business, and which is of course one of the beauties of solar technology. It's quite interesting on a, on a personal level to, to visit the end result so to say, um, in Renmark to visit the farmers, um, it's, it's, I feel blessed to actually be part of something like this. Yeah, so we'll just, uh, just keep moving with the times I suppose.